All right, temperatures have held in the 60s for the most part today. Some areas south of Grand Rapids reaching 70, but as the sun begins to set, we're about an hour and a half away from sunset itself, and we're back to the 50s in parts of Muskegon and Oceana counties here today. Still 63, Cedar Springs and into Montcalm County. We're going to see a big temperature swing, though, going from the mid-60s today to the mid-30s for overnight lows and waking up Wednesday morning. It's going to be chilly. 68 right now still in Kalamazoo Battle Creek holding on to the warmest air along I-94. There's a low temperatures tonight. Mentioned mid-30s, 35 in Greenville. For now, it's a forecast of 32 in Big Rapids. Could see a brief freeze if you're along, especially in north of US 10. Meanwhile, Grand Rapids, 39, and it looks like Kalamazoo will still hold on to that lower 40 degree mark. Dew points right now, still dry, but notice a little uh, moist pocket here. That's from that southwest wind coming in off the lakeshore, and it won't last once the wind winds down. We'll see those temperatures again start to plummet. So mid to upper 30s tonight and tomorrow, I think we're going to have back-to-back -back days of frost advisories, as we have one here tonight. The afternoon sunshine keeps us warmer, mid to upper 60s, and even in the 70s on Friday. That's associated with our next system, setting up warm air to start, Cool air and rain opportunities, though, start to return as early as Saturday morning, but I think the widespread chance will move in on Sunday. So here's the view in South Haven this evening. Sunset view will be gorgeous. Waves a little choppy again today. We had gusts upwards of 25 miles per hour, but once the wind winds down and with the clear skies, well, there's that frost advisory. Ionia, Montcalm, Macosta, and Nuego counties. Just those four in West Michigan and then a few areas inland. Isabella off towards Lansing and Flint and Saginaw. The areas northern, uh, north of Grand Rapids, north of Big Rapids rather, already had the first frost advisory of the season and going to get near freezing there. Grand Rapids, I think we have the opportunity to see our first frost advisory tomorrow night when we're forecasting 37 here in the city. 76 on Friday, that's the anomaly though. It's our only 70 degree in the horizon and you can see cooler air will settle in. That will also lead to consistent overnight lows in the 30s in the long term as well. So it looks like a little cooler pattern is going to be moving in. Average highs by next week will be in the 50s, so that's not going to be far off where we should be for mid-October. But nonetheless, here's the short-term forecast. Sunshine in 60s, high pressure to our north and high pressure to our south. Keeps us in the sweet spot here, and the wind will be lighter tomorrow and Thursday as well, meaning the next few days are going to be a little more pleasant than what they already have been. So setting us up nicely here outside of the cool overnight lows going to be a couple of good days breezy on Friday and then as mentioned rain chances begin Saturday morning isolated you can see it here with a weak cold front sets up mainly in the southern half of the lower peninsula but then it turns into a more organized system into the second half of the weekend it looks like we could see some decent rainfall amounts and we need them here in West Michigan